doesn't look good for Nick Sirianni, does it? So let's talk about it. What is up, Eagles Nation? So Nick kind of got Nick here and I kind of get a little bit exposed. Um, not in the ways you may think, but probably the most unconventional way, but which we'll discuss in today's video. Um, this is coming from PHL Eagles Nation, who gave a um, shared a quote from Eagles Insider Dave Spadaro, and obviously great Eagles Insider who actually provided some good insight into how exactly how this offense is run. So Nick, before we get into it, has been Meh, has not really been that impressive as a head coach, despite the fact of the great the amount of talent that he has around him. Besides that, you know, I've never seen a coach, and uh, you know, yeah, I mean, head coaches are sh or should be involved into what this what their teams can be. But in case Nick Sirianni, as David Spadaro points it out, that he is very extremely involved. Obviously, this is his offense, and has gets and he gets input from the coaching staff that they put together the game plan during the week, and then. Brian Johnson, who we'll talk about in just a second, knows where to go and obviously what options to call and what situations. Now, speaking with Brian Johnson a little bit, I know he has gotten a lot of heat the past multiple weeks of the season, and honestly for the wrong reasons that may, you may not think. Brian Johnson, for the last, obviously, few weeks, has not been the main play caller to an extent. Um, it's through Nick Sirianni. Nick Sirianni has been showing to not call play. It's, it's a terrible play caller from the offensive standpoint, if that's the case. What I mean by that is, like, obviously, the wide receivers are not getting no separation. Um, you know, Hurst is standing in the pocket for holding the ball for a lot longer than he should be. Um, and then the fact that Spadero, uh, Dave Spadero points out that, you know, in a way, Nick's kind of handicapping what this team can be, in a sense. But overall, like, it is very mind-boggling to see a guy like Nick Sirianni try to try to take play callers, you know, try to take play call news away from Brian Johnson, who, like I said, has gotten heat a little bit, but sometimes for the wrong reasons. Because, like, we don't know what Brian Johnson can do with this offense had Nick not take away the play calling duties, which Nick did the same exact thing back in 2021, and really didn't really work out too well with the for the for the Eagles, and at this point, I think a lot of Eagles fans need to have a conversation. It's like who's more to blame? Of the way how this offense has been, is it Brian Johnson or Nick Sirianni? For me, I'm more and more leaning more towards Nick Sirianni because I think Brian Johnson, I think you know, potentially could actually do but much could you know show what he can do from a coaching perspective from the. Um, from the, from the offensive coordinator. You know what I'm saying? It's really ridiculous to the point where enough is enough from Nick Sirianni. Let, give the reins to Brian Johnson. You know, if Johnson doesn't work out, find his replacement immediately. Because if Nick Sirianni can, continues to, say, play do play calling duties like we saw against the 49ers in some of these games this entire year, I think Jeffrey Lurie is going to have a fun, is going to, it's going to have a tight leash, a very, very tight leash with Nick Sirianni. But what do you guys think? Because for me, I still think Nick may may, how, may somehow survive another year. But what are you guys' thoughts? Let me know in the comment sections down below. That being said, thanks for watching.